Hello friends! Have you ever been reading the writings when suddenly this happens? An epoch unsurpassed in its sublimity, its fen... 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 Yeah. Those situations can be kind of... awkward. That's that why... That is why we have this show here. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna love it. We're gonna love it so much. Sorry. Sorry. Welcome to the first episode of What's That Word, where we take tricky and wonderful words and we explain them. Today we'll be talking about 95 words which you may encounter in the Baha'i writings. Just kidding, we'll do five. Not everything has to be 95. Number one, immemorial. Immemorial describes something which originates in the distant past or is so old. I suppose it comes from the word memorial or memory. Something being so old, we can't even remember where it came from. Veiled in my immemorial being. Number two, invoke. To invoke is to call on something in prayer. Not like this. For example, we can invoke God, invoke the most great name, or invoke blessings. Numero tres, See, si, hablar español. Vivified. Vivified is the past tense of the word vivify, which is to enliven something or make it more intense. Hello, I have to go Okay. I suppose it comes from the word vivid, which means very sharp or clear. They sometimes put it on TV boxes to sell you a television. We can be vivified through the potency of the teachings of God, or vivified by the Holy Spirit. Number four. The last two words can be found on page 223 of God Passes By. I think. Espouse. I suppose espouse could just be the Persian way of saying spouse. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not gonna put that in. Can I? Espouse is to adopt, take possession, or accept something. I suppose here it means accepting the cause of God. Espouse its cause. Espoused his cause. Numero panj. I'm half Persian. Sinusure. Pronounced like sai. Nah. Sure! It's a noun which means a thing, but it can also be a person. It's a thing which attracts the center of admiration or attention. I'm humble. Shoki Effendi refers to God's newborn faith as the sinusure of all past dispensations. Wow, that's a really hard to say. Well, that's all for this episode of What's That Word? Hopefully, next time you come across these words, you'll know what they mean and be able to say them. Until next time, feel free to head over to the Baha'i Blog YouTube channel, check out other episodes, and don't forget to hit subscribe. Khadafiz. I'm half Persian.